But anyway, look, the NFL, bro, they're still in Christmas. They're still in Christmas. Typically, the NBA is always on Christmas. They have Christmas Day. We know the big games are happening on Christmas. The big stars are happening on Christmas. But recently, the NFL announced they'll be playing two games on Christmas Day. And although they usually never play any games on Wednesday, and they typically try to avoid playing games on Wednesday, Christmas so happens to fall on a Wednesday. And they said, to hell with all of that. We playing this game on Wednesday. Now, from 1948 through last season, there's only been two Wednesday NFL games in history. In history. So, you know, I, what I'm speculating here is that the NFL is trying to, like, kind of, you know, in a slick way, creep in Wednesday night football. Because the reason I say this is um, we've seen this happen with the Saturdays. Last year, they implemented Saturday football. And I was like, what the, where the hell did this come from? Like, you know, football on a Saturday during college football? Why would the NFL do that? And then now this season, they're running it back. Got some more Saturday games in line. Um, and that's going to be happening. We've seen the overseas games. They talked and they announced that there's going to be Friday night football happening a couple times throughout this season. The opener in week one with the Eagles in Brazil is going to be a Friday night football game. So they got Sunday, Monday, Thursday, because Thursday night football, Saturday, and now they just announced Friday. So, bro, they, they spreading out a lot in the NFL. You know, I'm not mad at this because I'm like, bro, get your money. You know, hey, you're, you're getting a good ratings, all of that stuff. Get your money if you can really capitalize on the viewership and, and the deals that can come along with this. The thing that I'm worried about more so is the durability of players and the investment of the audience to actually watch every day of the week if this continues to happen because i think it's gonna happen the nfl lied when the streaming services stuff was happening and said oh no this is a one-time thing and now we can't even watch a game outside of peacock in amazon prime so i think this is gonna end up being a you know a long-term goal of the nfls is to have games happening weekly but the more games you play in a week, the less recovery time guys are going to have. So with this whole Christmas Day thing going on, um, there's going to be teams that play three games in 13 days. And that's a lot, bro. That's putting a lot on guys' bodies. They're going to have these knickknack injuries. And, you know, I'm just concerned if they'll be as durable as you want them to be, especially when the NFL cries safety 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 no hip drop tackle you can't hit them like this you can't fall on the quarterback you have to wrap them up this way you can't touch this guy you can't touch it the, like they do all this crying stuff but yet they're giving these guys less recovery time to play football games so that's one concern right there the other concern i have is that sunday is the perfect day to watch a football game because a majority of people aren't really at work. Most people have off. Um, obviously, there's a good portion that do work on Sundays, but even Saturdays, the weekends are, are pretty much solid. I'm okay with any weekend football going on in the NFL because typically that's when people have the least amount of distractions that they have to attend to on the weekend. You don't have to worry about a lot of different things happening outside of things that were already planned. But Sunday is the golden day. Because it's been happening for years, people know they want to sit in front of the TV and watch NFL Sunday. That's one thing. But when you start adding Monday, Wednesday, Thursday, Tuesday, all of these different days during the week, people are busy, bro. People work nine to fives, damn it. People got kids. They got to make sure their car get fixed. They got to go to T-Mobile and, and make sure they sell your services right. They got to go get uh, some furniture for the new crib. They got to do all kind of stuff during the week. And adding a football game might backfire. I'm not saying it will, but it does have the potential because this is the same reason that a lot of people struggle to follow the MLB and the NBA because there's so many different games in this long season. So there's just so much happening that people aren't really able to attend to during the week. So because the NFL has always been once a week, you know, you were getting it Sunday and then at an extra bit, an extracurricular, you get Monday and Thursday and you might miss those games if you are busy during the week. But you know, for sure, you are going to be able to watch Sunday night football. 
When you start adding Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, uh, Thursday, Friday, every day during the week, it get a little hectic. So that's only that's my only other concern with that area is because, you know, it, it can get tough for people to follow and keep up with. So um, as far as the NFL doing that, obviously, we see they have a plan and how they're going to implement this stuff and roll it out. But uh, what's tough, too, with the Friday night football is when these teams go play in different countries, it's not even on channels we can watch. Like, we're going to have to figure out how we watch this game because I think you have to be an in, uh, NBC subscriber to watch this Eagles game in, in the opener of week one. So, you know, it's weird, bro. It's weird. And, and obviously, the NFL is going to keep dropping stuff about it. But ultimately, they finesse the NBA. Long story short, they stole Christmas. 